We often see St. Patrick's Chapel, which originated as a small building with one room, which was in the 8th century. Now, this was originally made for people to come, stop off inside when they came to see the stone carve, stone cutouts of graves. Um, and we're going to go see that now. This used on the greatest hit album, The Black Sabbath. I mean, just imagine going about digging these out and the work. I mean, going through it and the thing is, they remember they don't have tools that we have nowadays. Nowadays, it'd probably still be a job, but not as hard. But imagine not having them tools. It, I mean, it's just amazing, really. Yeah. There's uh, only ones like this really are in France, and there's not many of them even now. Apparently, um, this pe massive, big, human just piece of stone wasn't actually built into the rock. Apparently, they put it here. Don't know that for certain, but I've been told that it has been done like that. Excavation in the 1970s revealed further burial sites around the area. Now we're going to go see St. Peter's Church. Now, St. Peter's Church is supposed to have been built around about the same time as St. Patrick's Chapel. Now, St. Patrick's Chapel is just there, and St. Peter's Church is just there, so they're really, really close to each other. Let's come on, let's go have a look. It looks stunning outside. Hopefully it's just the same inside. The church is built in sandstone rubble and it is a designated grade one listed building. So it's a lovely area with lovely houses, but it's a bit narrow streets. So if you want to park, it might not be the easiest thing. But here, there's not much parking, but there is parking, which you can park here right next to the church from 10 till 4. On the way to the church, I passed a really confident Robin. The church is only really small, but it's really beautifully built and it is in a stunning scenery overlooking Morecambe Bay. We went to look inside and there was a really informative volunteer there who told us all about the church. St Peter's Church is one of the oldest Christian worship places in Western Europe. The church has many stunning features, but one of the most stunning things and then most interesting is that this I'm a hotback stone, which I, I believe date back to the 10th century. It is in remarkable condition and it is really detailed and you can see all the pictures on it. Really enjoyed looking around church and this chapel. There was plenty to see and I learnt a lot. And I really recommend going to Heesham to see that site and also just Heesham. Because there's loads of little um, shops, like charity shops, to hairdressers, to cafes. And you can see all the houses and these and little um, narrow villages, like streets. And, and all houses have loads of little new unique things on. So yeah, I recommend going. Thank you for watching.